Hello everyone, welcome to the Doncaster Methodist Circuit Devotions. We welcome you in the name of the one whose birth we look forward to celebrating in such a short time from now. Yesterday's Old Testament lesson was taken from Isaiah chapter 35 and here are verses 8 to 10 of that chapter. A highway will be there, it will be called the way of holiness. It will be for those who walk on that way. The unclean will not journey on it. Wicked fools will not go about on it. No lion will be there, nor any ravenous beast. They will not be found there. But only the redeemed will walk there, and those the Lord has rescued will return. They will enter Zion with singing. Everlasting joy will crown their heads. Gladness and joy will overtake them, and sorrow and sighing will flee away. Our passage today speaks of those who have so much to look forward to. However, if you read the first seven verses of the passage, you can see that they've had so much to endure before they get to this moment of joy. Hopefully, you are looking forward to Christmas, but perhaps you wish you could press the fast forward button so that you wouldn't have to face all that needs to be done or even endured before you get there. However, I remember two things that people have said to me in the past before I rushed to forego the difficult times to get to the mountain top. The first one is that it's not the destination that's important, but the journey. And the second one is that fruit grows much better in the valley than it ever does on the mountain tops. Even the valley of our doubts can bear the kind of fruit that unthinking certainty can never produce, as our prayer of confession today intimates. So let us pray. Living God, thank you for the opportunity to reflect and mull scripture together. We know that sometimes to doubt is to grow. So forgive us when we allow our doubts to diminish us. Sometimes looking back helps us to advance. So forgive us when we allow our memories to cripple us. Sometimes recognising our tiredness can lead to real rest. So forgive us when we allow our weariness to demoralise us. Forgive us and help us to glimpse your presence in our lives and in our world, that we may negotiate all obstacles to our faith and be empowered afresh. In Jesus' name, Amen. Reliable God, you heal us when we are wounded, you free us when we are bound, you reassure us when we wobble and when we lose sight of you. You show us your love in action and your presence with us. Thank you, holy, humble, here and now God. Thank you, in Jesus' name. Amen. And now may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen.